What's up, YouTube? Today, I just want to talk to you guys. Of course, the moment I start recording, my cat comes on screen. What's up, YouTube? Today, I want to talk to you guys about Rift S and how Oculus has recently released an update that seems to be breaking Rift S's for about 50% of the audience out there, especially if you're like me and you have a, an older system, technically, because you did plan on building a new PC. But 2020 and 2021 has kind of taken a damper on those plans. Well, I'm talking about what I'm going to show you guys right here. So. As you can see in this form post, which I'll have linked down in the description down below, Oculus released an update called version 25 recently that has come up with essentially a lot of people's headsets, has an orange light, and you'll see three flashing dots if you put on the headset and you'll be stuck with uh, loading, but you can still hear audio. Essentially what happened is if we scroll down here and we scroll down enough, so as we scroll down here, um, I scroll down to page two, this will be on the second page. This guy right here has shown us what the fix is. So Oculus in this update has managed to blacklist a many USB 3.0 drivers for no apparent reason. And essentially what you need to do now as a fix is you need to revert your Oculus software and firmware on the headset to a previous version. So which is I think version 25 you want to be using right now because version 26 and the beta version 27 apparently seem to be broken. And then here comes the fun part. You have to block Oculus from updating. And in certain instances, if you do it the, the Papago way, where you just block it in your Windows firewall, then you can't play alert certain Oculus titles online anymore and you lose all your online functionality. This is a big issue. So I just kind of wanted to make a video about this because for one, I'm dealing with uh, Oculus support on myself. And if you were wondering why your Rift S is not working anymore, then yeah. You know, here's an example as to what's going on. Oculus seems to be breaking some stuff. And if you're like me and you have an older system, you know, for example, I have a X5650 overclocked to 4.2 gigahertz with 24 gigs of DDR3 RAM. That's right. I still use DDR3 RAM. Uh, I was planning on building a new system. If Oculus suddenly decided to release new updates that suddenly out phases us successfully, we no longer can get supported. Well, I mean... That's good and all if they start, you know, supporting new CPU instruction sets, like if they wanted the AVX instruction set or they wanted a few other things, great. But we're currently in a pandemic and I'm, I don't know if Oculus has noticed, but no one can build a new computer right now. So why on earth would they just ax a bunch of their current user bases if they're trying to move the platform forward? But right now is the worst time ever, especially if I don't understand the only time they would maybe consider needing to use AVX on a CPU instruction sets would be if they're considering bringing in um, hand tracking on the Rift S, but I'm pretty sure they said that's just not going to happen. So again, why aren't they talking to us, uh, letting us know what's happening? So that's the fix for you guys. So hopefully that helps shed some light into what's going on with your Rift S. If you're currently having issues, like I said, to downgrade your version to version 25, you will have to find a way of blocking Oculus software of actually trying to update on itself. Um, if you use Steam, like I will be probably making a video on how to actually get this solved completely step by step. Hopefully I just wanted to make a video about you guys really quick to talk about this. Um, I'll have a link to the forum post that I came across today. Uh, beyond that, ciao and you guys have a great day.